Hey gang, short one for you today. People often talk about this imposter syndrome thing where people don't feel worthy of other people's attention or when you feel that you have no worth as a creator. It's something I feel a lot about myself and I think it's really common with self-employed people and people who work in creative industries. I thought about doing a video about imposter syndrome in the past, but I always feel like it would come across as... I don't know, a pity party, or that I'm just looking for likes and positive comments or something. I don't think there would be any actual educational value to a video like that, not from me anyway. So I never got around to recording that video, but I realized something recently. I've worked in a few different industries at various levels. I've been a music promoter as well as a performer, and I release music as well as reviewing other people's music. I've definitely been on both sides of the music industry thing. I've also been working in comedy for a while and podcasting. I recently started a media production company. And as many of you probably already know, my actual day job is in music education and education support. In all of these industries, all of the individual people that I communicate with, basically no one has a damn clue what they're doing. And that's not a dig or a gripe. It's an observation that most people are actually just really good at thinking on their feet. Everyone's improvising their role to a certain extent. Important documents in education that you think are set in stone or procedures that journalists use or contracts that promoters might ask you to sign are all constantly evolving. They change when necessary to suit new situations or because they realise the previous iteration didn't solve all of the problems. I don't even really need to point out the current political situation in Britain because everyone here, and I'm sure most of you around the world know, it looks like no one knows what they're doing, and that's because they don't. When I was 16, I couldn't wait to be an adult and finally have any clue as to what was going on in the world and know how to function as a human being. 14 years later, I'm nearly 30 and I don't have a clue. But... I genuinely believe no one else does. I remember being in school and seeing how clearly teachers knew how to run things. You just go where they tell you, and the thing that's supposed to be happening is happening. Working behind the scenes in education, I can tell you that's a facade, a very thin facade. So take this piece of advice away with you and think about it. No one actually knows what they're doing. Best practice is constantly changing in every single industry. The skills that you need to develop are the ability to change, the ability to improvise, and the ability to find solutions when it looks like there aren't any. You do that and it'll look like you know what you're doing when we all know that no one does. Especially me, probably, but I think everyone else as well. Thanks for watching. I have some actual guitar and music theory related content on the way, but I think this video has an important sentiment that I wanted to share with my subscribers. So thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week. Toodaloo.